we are going to discuss how we can smooth time series data. Previously, we used Pandas's rolling function to smooth a time series. Now we'll be using EWM, which is Exponential Weighted Moving Average Method within Pandas, to smooth our time series data. Here is the formula for EWM. The smooth data point at timestamp t is equal to alpha times the observed data point or observed value at timestamp t plus 1 minus alpha times the smooth data in the previous timestamp. Notice here that this is a recursive formula. On the right side, you have the smooth data from the previous timestamp, and we are computing the smooth data for the current timestamp. The formula for exponential weighted moving average in time series analysis is such that the weights or importance for past data decreases exponentially as we move backward in the past data points in the series. This weighting scheme is what makes EWM particularly useful for smoothing time series data and for applications where more recent observations are more relevant or indicative of future trends, such as in financial time series analysis. The exponential decay in weights will assure that older data still influence the average but to a lesser and decreasing extent as they become more distant in time. This alpha value is a user-settable parameter. Alpha being 1.0 will be only considering the exact observations. That means there will be no smoothing with alpha equal to 1 because 1 minus 1 will be 0, and the smoothing part will be ineffective. When we have alpha tiny, our smooth data will be very well, uh, very smooth. If you start from alpha with a value of zero and move upward, then the smoothed data will become more and more like the original data. Okay, let's see how we can use pandas EWM function. So we will be importing pandas and numpy. We will also need matplotlib to display our plots. We are creating a synthetic data set here where we will have date ranges as the index of that data. Let's create a date range of 100 days. Let's start the date from January 1st of 2024 to explicitly mention that we have 100 days, not seconds, hours, or weeks. Starting from January 1st, we will also need to state that this is day interval using this D parameter. Now we have our index ready. We will have to put amplitude or values for each of those dates. Let's create a series, a pandas series, with 100 numbers from 0 to 99, we will state that our index is the index that we just created and we are keeping our time series in a variable named data. Let's take a quick look at the content of the data variable. We see that the values are from 0 to 99 and we have the index of dates starting from January 1st of 2024 but it's completely a single line of data. We want to add some noise to this particular data so let's generate some noise, which would also be a pandas series. I'm varying the values of those random numbers between 0 and 5. Of course, I am generating 100 random values. And also, for these random values, our index would be the same, which would be the dates variable. So now, to generate the noisy data, what we are going to do is, we are going to sum up our data, which is a line and the noise that we have just generated. Now, if we take a quick look at the content of this noisy data variable, we see that there are different fluctuating values. It's no more numbers monotonically increasing. Rather, the numbers have some sort of fluctuations. There will be zigzags because we have added that noise with the exact upward line. We will be using EWM over this noisy data variable. The noisy data is also a pandas series. Let's define a variable called alpha. Let's say that this alpha value is 0 0.2 for the time being. Now we will be invoking the EWM method over our noisy data. And here there is a parameter called alpha, which is this alpha value from the original formula. Here we say that our alpha parameter should be whatever content we have in this particular variable. And using that alpha, we are going to apply this mean or average operation. This would give us our smooth data. I need this backslash because I am using a second line for one statement. OK, so we now have smooth data. We want to draw the noisy data and the smoothed data in the same plot so that we can compare the two. 
Let's start with noisy data. We ask to plot it. And we also want to provide a label for this noisy data. And the label is noisy data. We want to color that noisy data line. Let's put orange color. Now we also want to plot the smoothed data. We want to label that smoothed data as smoothed data. And let's say that we don't provide any color. It will be whatever color the system picks. The x-axis label is, of course, the date. That is the index that we used. The y label is values. Then we also want to draw the legend that will show what the orange line is the noisy data and whatever color line is the smoothed data. Then we want to display the plots. Let's see. Here we have it. So the noisy data is the orange line, which has a lot of zigzags. We have the blue line as our smooth data. Let us change this alpha value. Let's make it 0.1. Let's see what happens. And see, this line is even smoother now. Now, if we make this alpha value very large, what will happen? When alpha is very large, like 0.9, the smoothed data almost overlaps with the original noisy data. That means smoothing has a very limited effect now. Of course, with 1.0, the noisy data and the smooth data overlap on top of each other, because alpha being 1 practically means that the smooth data has no smoothing. The smooth data is the, the original data with alpha equals 1. So for this data, it seems like 0 0.2 is a good choice. It shows the trend. How would you select this alpha value? Again, alpha is a user-settable parameter. That means that this is an analytic parameter. So the analyst will explore the data set. The analyst will change this alpha value in different ways to determine which reflects the data trend better. Again, a smaller alpha value leads to a more smoother time series, and a larger alpha value results in less smoother data. Thank you, and have a wonderful time.